See, when I was growing up, I loved watching a lot of the sitcoms, the Jeffersons, Alice, you know, uh, One Day at a Time, Good Times, all that stuff, Facts of Life, Different Strokes, 70s, 80s, man. And so I try to introduce him some of those things that, that's not a syndication, you know, and some that are, he just don't watch them. But um, today we're going to watch a little uh, George Jefferson. That was one of my favorite dudes back in the day. Um, and just uh, before we get started, I'll just the name say, of the show? The Jeffersons. Oh, okay. The name of the show was yeah. The Jeffersons. And George Jefferson, which was funny because uh, he always talked bad about white people, you know, called them honkies and all this stuff all this time. But, um, and how he didn't like that. And he was like the man's man in the show. But behind the scenes, he was actually a gay black man who was married to a white man, which is ironic. But that's just how good of an actor he was. And being a comedian back there on stage on the sitcoms, he was great at it. So we're going to check out <clears throat> uh, uh, just a little bit that they had on one of the scenes of the Jeffersons. This is uh, when George Jefferson, he attended a Klan seminar. This is part one of it, though. Hey! Hey, sorry I'm late. <laughs> Don't mind me, go right ahead. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm on your side. I'm behind you 100%. <laughs> I find that hard to believe. We're trying to get the scum out of this building. Right on, bro. <laughs> I can't believe this. Oh, I told you this little guy is dynamite. You tell him, George. No, 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 no. You listen to these guys because they are talking my language. <laughs> You've got to get people like that out of here. Damn right, we got to get people like that out of here. And the only way we're going to do it is by joining together. You're not joining anything. This happens to be a KKK meeting. You bet it is. And everybody in here is proud to be part of the K what? <laughs> <laughs> That's what he switched on. He switched on there. Now. <laughs> the scum we're trying to get out of this building is you, boy. Boy, boy. <laughs> we are dedicated to white supremacy, but not through violence. Well, that's all you bigots have ever taught is violence. Tom, that's the old clan, not the new clan. The garbage it still stinks, no matter how fresh it is. Good one, Mr. J. <laughs> Okay, you want to talk about garbage? I'll tell you what's garbage. The people on welfare living off white people's money, that's garbage. The people who are robbing white stores, tearing down white schools, there's your garbage, mister. You, you and your kind, you personify garbage. None of that is true. You just hope by saying it enough times, people will begin to believe it. You don't know what you're talking about, Tom. Oh, really? Well, for your information, I happen to be married to a black woman, and, and I don't sir, have to sir, you it. are a black man. Now get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Take that foreigner and your nigger-loving friend here, a <laughs> black man. Now get out of here. <laughs> Take that foreigner and your nigger-loving friend here with you. Oh, that's enough. Now, hold it right there. It's one thing hearing it from you, but when you start feeding that trash to your kid. My son knows the truth and isn't afraid to speak it. Now, we'd appreciate it if you'd leave because we don't like talking to Negroes. Don't worry, you don't have to do no talk with my fist shoved down your throat. No, no. <laughs> and you call me violent? Well, you're living proof that white is right, that we are superior, that white supremacy is the salvation of this country. Dad! Dad! Oh no. It's his heart. He's got a bad heart. You, you took the CPR course, kid. Help it. I I don't know. We left early. <laughs> <laughs> well, does anyone know what to do? Well, please. <laughs> <laughs> Get out the way. Get out. Get out. Come on, wake up. Wake up. Well, Billy, go give a go find help quick. Right. Come on. What? Read you bastard. <laughs>
Let's see, first day back in the day, that's how you would do it. And they still do some of that stuff today, but now all they want, you ain't got to do mouth to mouth yeah. nowadays. All you do is just keep pumping, 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 because you got enough oxygen in your body, you just got to keep it flowing to the brain. So you just keep pumping till somebody come. But they still do like, hey, go get somebody, call 911 nowadays. And then you always shake the person to see if they're awake. And then you listen and you check them, check the, you know, see if you get a little pulse in the neck and then you go to work. Mr. J, do you realize what you've done? Yeah, a real stupid thing. <laughs> no, you saved a man's life. And a guy don't deserve to live. Oh, George, I know he's despicable, but everyone deserves to live. You did the right thing. Oh, yeah, then why do I feel like I just got kicked in my stomach? You don't know, Willis. He wouldn't like nothing better but to see me swinging at the end of a rope. But for a second, you forgot that and just saw another human being. Yes, and that makes you a better man than he can ever hope to be. Mr. J, you breathed the life back into him. Mm, I should have inhaled. <laughs> Um, Mr. Jefferson. What do you want? Well, I just, I just wanted to thank you for saving my dad's life. Oh, well, forget it. <laughs> How you doing, Dad? I'm tired, son. Real tired. Well, we'll get you to the hospital. You can rest there. Yeah, we can We can ride down with you. No, no, you two stay here and continue the meeting. It's important to the cause. <laughs> Dad. Well, the paramedic said if Mr. Jefferson hadn't given you CPR, you wouldn't have made it. He saved my life? Yeah. You should have let me die. <laughs> <laughs> See that? They never change. You saved their life and they still don't change. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. Mm. I don't know, I think they kind of messed up by trying to do a a social thing there instead of just doing a comedy because they I don't know what they could have said there but he could have said a lot of things that could have made that a lot more funny well this was, Let me die. Hey, this, was more, this is more of a they they wanted it to be uh this scene it was like you know two parts of what they did but basically what they was trying to do is they was trying to let you know that bigotry and racism was alive and well, and this was in the 80s, and you, they still some that act like that in 2024. Man, that's years later, man, <laughs> 80s. This was in the 80s, man, and that same thing, they could modernize that and it'll still be relevant for today. But they didn't, they, they did the funnies, but then they always wanted to mix in, you know, some little realism, because what happened was George, when he um, had the cleaners, he started making money, so he moved out of the ghetto and he moved into this high rise. He was like one of the only black people in the high rise. So when people would see him, they thought he was a bell bell hopper. Hey man, you the bell boy? Or you the hey, what you doing here? You the doorman? And he's like, I live here. So he used to always have these white people that used to always come at him. So that's what, how it was set up where they was having a meeting because they had like some break ins and stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's what he was thinking he was going to say, Yeah, we gotta get these people breaking in and out of here. So he used to think he was talking about that, but he didn't oh. know that they was talking about getting rid of black people. <clears throat> but yeah, so you know how they could have done it. They could have, his son could have like, Jefferson, breathe the life back into you. And then, <gasps> <laughs> that would have been a good ending. That would have been, yeah. <laughs> I would never breathe again. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. But yeah, that was the Jeffersons, man. That was back in the 80s. I just wanted to let my son check in on that. Uh, let him know that uh, sitcoms been around forever, man. And they're funny, man. And some of the things that they did back in the day, they, they uh, wouldn't be politically correct today now doing it, but um, those were the times. And some of the things that happened back then still happen today. But we ain't gonna hold you any longer. Um, but uh, I know what you feel about the clip because you uh, made it known. But uh, those are shows I used to watch, man, when I was uh, 
Well, younger than you, because I was like a teenager and stuff like that during those times. I haven't found a good sitcom in a minute. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was The Jeffersons, part one and two. Uh, we will see you, or rather I keep saying that, but y'all go see us. Because we can't see you, we don't even know who y'all looking at. We might get one, two views. <laughs> and still don't even know who that is. Might be us just checking. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all will see us next time here at the House of Time. With your host, G-Time. And I'm Nick of Time. And we will see you, like I keep saying. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all will see us next time.